Hi everyone, Quincy here. So I would like to give you a quick update on one of my weekend projects, which is um, Conjure Web CLI. So this is a web interface for us to deploy um, DAP or perform POC um, in an easier way. Um, so um, this is um, open source project. I package it as um, you know Docker image, which is available on Docker Hub. So um, let me show you uh, how it works uh, so that we can understand more about its benefits. So um, what we can do is simply execute a command. Let me show you um, my Docker image, uh, Docker host is empty. So basically if you execute it, it will say, tell you that you know it's listening on port 3000. So let's open um, the web page. So basically it give you a very keen interface. So it there's two sections. So the top section is basically an um, online or uh, on-screen instruction guide. So if you want to deploy master or standby or forward, you can just start right here. On the bottom of the screen, it is an embedded console or Docker host. So um, because when we execute it, we map a root directory to a home directory. So in because um, there are any information that can be written on the home directory as a persistent storage. It won't be written on the container. Instead, it will stay to your local storage, which is very secure. Mm -hmm. So um, we also utilize this one to execute commands such that you know um, we don't need to access the environment directly. So it's very good for deployment, especially when we don't need, want to save um, or remotely connect to it. Um, you know, um, sometimes we only have to um, SSH it or we need to, you know, indirectly access the platform. So this gives you a very easiest way or very convenient ways to do it. So um, let me give you a very quick example on um, how it works. So let's deploy a master. For example, we have a very clean environment. I want to deploy master. So one of the challenge or one of the feedback I always got is uh, we, we always came that we support a lot of platforms. Say for example, is it like um, EC2, like Linux, Mac OS, or bad metal servers? But in reality, we basically support two things. So basically Docker and also um, EC2. So people get confused, people got feedback, hey, how I can't find the documentation, etc. etc. So um, you can see here I list out all the platform that we claim that we support and give them a very easy instruction saying that hey. We um our DHB master can deploy it on Docker on um, Mac OS. So basically, this is the way to do it. So if we click continue, it brought you to a very generic page to deploy the master on Docker. So um, you can see here we have a table of form, and we can fill the uh, information um uh, that we want. Say for example, we want we can specify the um container name, the image name, etc. So one of the beauty or one of the features that I found very powerful is this little button here. So um, if you click on it, um, this is basically populate, um, you know, all the POC configurations that we have. And, you know, this is a suggest setup. And you can see here we have another button called show me the template and the command. If you click on it, it basically show you the details. So basically we take the input values on the top of the screen, this table, combined with our template and generate the command we need. So this is how it works. So we clear it and we click execute. What it's going to do is to grab this command and send it to this Docker console. So now um, we are deporting a master on my uh, local environment, basically on Mac OS. So you can see we don't need to type anything, you know, in terms of, you know, doing POC is very convenient. While it's executing, it will take a while. So um, I would like to show you another um, very powerful features. Um, let me duplicate the tab, which is deploy the forwards. So we have a lot of type of forwards. Basically, we have one for Docker, one for EC2, and three for OpenShift or Kubernetes. Um, we will have the sixth one, which is the ng later. So it 
it's kind of confusing to um, most of the engineers. So what I did here is to you know give an on-screen instruction guide. So if you want to deploy forward on Docker, just click on it, click continue. If you want to deploy on Kubernetes, on, on OpenShift, you know, uh, there's a couple of questions that uh, we need to gather, uh, need to ask, a little answer. It's basically to get the information such that we can advise or recommend the right approach uh, to deploy forward. Say for example, hey, I, um, no, I, I require the unprivileged access, I don't need auto scaling HM, uh, X, XSM. It will give you, say, you can deploy the forward outside Kubernetes. So this is the way to do it. So you can change the setting if you want. Sometimes you've got multiple options. So we also uh, highlight which is the preferred option for you. And same for OpenShift. So you can select the information that you want, or the deployment environments that you are doing. And that's basically it. If you don't need this console, you can minimize it. You know, if you want, you can maximize it by this button. You can see here, you can click exit to uh, exit. Let's go back to our original screen. You can see the configuration successful. And, you know, Conjure is basically up and running. Let me try to, you know, take a look at my Docker host. You can see here we have successfully configured um, the DAB master. So let's verify it using web browser. Very simple, go to the uh, web UI, which is localhost, type in the using password, click sign in, and that's it. So this is a very quick update and overview of what I'm currently doing uh, for the Condor Web CLI. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Cheers.